guide me. There are more floors up there. But how are we going to climb up? I can see a gravity stream ahead. It's currently blocked off. We'll pull the rocks away first, then let it carry us up there. every game. Reach the top soon. Head is completely blocked off. You choose where the disruptor's last blast hits. Make it count, Rover. May it cleave out a path for us. This amount of enemies, we cannot fire the disruptor again. Yang Yang, you. The Trinodian is only going to summon more of them as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. But I think I am better suited for this task. want to beat the Brinodian once and for all. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind. But we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. Now that our shared goal is within hand's reach, I... I do not want to let it slip away. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. Now, Rover. Please make the call. I'll stand guard here. The Thrinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. I'll leave the rest to you.
It seems the culprit is hidden deep within this statue. This will be our final battle with this Renodian. Rover, are you ready? That's the spirit. Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. That's... another moon. What on earth is happening? The Crownless. The Threnodian has reconstructed its frequencies. Frequencies we just crashed. The moon's drawing them in. Leave it to me. That moon has cannibalized the Crownless's remaining frequency to create another monster. I remember I saw it during the battle beneath the crescent.
Watch out for its ranged attacks! Rover, have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our enemy. Retreat to advance. This thing is weakening. I'll show you how it attacks. Rover, find a chance to strike its core. Leave it to me. One with the sound. Bad timing. One with the sound. Nowhere to climb. 
careful. Right, we're done. Retreat to it, Lance. One more time. Fight the time.
as the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. <laughs> Rover, is that... This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. Gather round. I have a tale to stand in. Our feather haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. The sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness out of sight. From the statue emerged two. Guess who we have? None other than General and the legendary. The Overthrax meets it defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. Amidst setbacks, heroes will rise to Under Scarlet Sky, now victorious of triumph shall shake the cloud. And our story goes on.